And in this reaction, I'm going to show you what happens when we oxidize ethanol. So in this boiling tube, I've already put a mixture of sulfuric acid and potassium dichromate. Potassium dichromate is my oxidizing agent, and it needs some sulfuric acid with it so that it works properly. And that's already been prepared in here. I'm going to add some ethanol to it now. And then rather than heating it directly in a Bunsen flame, because it's, it doesn't respond terribly well to that, I'm going to stand it in this beaker of hot water, so it's like a water bath. And I'm hoping to see a colour change, and that will show me that the potassium dichromate has done its job, it has oxidised the alcohol, and in the process, the potassium dichromate itself will have been reduced. So we'll see it change to a sort of greeny blue colour, green colour really, um, to indicate the formation of um, chromium 3 plus. You can see it's already starting to change colour, it's not quite so orange. I think now I can see got that really lovely green colour to it, which tells me that the ethanol has been oxidised and my potassium dichromate has been reduced. So it's a redox reaction. And if I were to smell across the top of that, I would be able to smell something very familiar. It would smell like ethanoic acid, which you know more commonly as vinegar.